Now we're going to show you how to make some shells and I'm going to do one freehand and I'm going to do one using the, uh, the mould that I've got here. So using Renshaw flour and modelling paste, take some paste. Now I'm going to warm it up with my hands so it's quite hard to start with. So get it nice and soft and a little bit of Trex here or white fat. Massage that in and that will make it nice and soft and easy to use. And then I'm actually using an FPC mould here, which has got the seahorse and two different shells. Wonderful if you're mass producing, if you want to do some things really quick. They're lovely. So once your paste is nice and soft and it's not cracking, then it's ready to use. So again, corn flour, that's to stop it sticking, like so. And then we just take a small amount of paste and just push into the into the mold itself. Make sure you push quite firmly to get all those lovely patterns like so and then we're just going to push and out comes the lovely shell. So there's one. I'll show you the other one as well. There is a nice little seahorse on here but I've chose not to use that. So we're pushing that in, a bit too much paste there, so take away the excess paste. If you, if you use too much paste, you end up just getting into a big mess, so it's better to take away. Now once we've done that and we make sure it's all sharp, you can see, can you see I've got a little bobble of paste there where it sticks up. So what we're going to do is just get a knife and cut that off. Be careful not to cut the mould, but then that will lie nice and flat. And then we just pop him out. And he's also done. And as you can see, I've got a selection here that's already nice and dry. Now to do a freehand shell, I would recommend you get a picture in front of you before you do this. But as you can see, quite easy to do, believe it or not. And I think doing it freehand, it's a little bit more unique as well. A little bit special. Rather than mass producing using moulds. So again, we warm the icing up and we're rolling into a ball, making sure that there's no cracks. Now, if there is a few cracks that you can't get rid of, then just make sure that's the bottom of the shell and no one can see it. So now what I'm going to do is start by pulling the little kind of, I'm going to call them feet or legs. And you can have as many of these as you want. I think I'm going to have four on this one. Can you see that? And then the end bit here, I'm going to turn, and as I'm turning, I'm pulling to get that lovely shell effect. That was easy, wasn't it? Now, lie it flat onto the surface, and we just need to tinker now to get the shapes right. So I'm going to use the rolling pin here, and I'm just going to bring these in a bit, like so. And then use your hands as well. Your fingers are wonderful modelling tools. We have that lovely spiral end. But make sure it's nice and smooth. Shells are all very smooth, aren't they? You do get a few odd ones, but that's where it's quite good to get a picture and copy direct from the picture. Now on this one, I've got spikes that I've just pinched with my hand. So you can leave it nice and smooth like I have here. Or you can just get your fingers and literally just pinch, pinch little spikes. And again, do them random over the shell. And then leave to dry. And once it's dry, as you can hear, it goes like that. So next we're going to do some colouring. So leave our shells to dry. Because when they're dry, they absorb the colour much better. I'm going to move my board out of the way and introduce my piece of paper. Now I'm just going to empty the excess colour out of here. Because we were spraying blue and I don't really want blue shells. I want nice yellow shells. So get rid of all that colour. And we're going to put some yellow in there. 
Now it could come out green a little bit, just as I thought, because I've just put blue, blue's been in there and I've just put yellow on top. So sometimes a good idea to have a spare one of these full of water. There we are, there's some yellow. Now you can always tone the, down the yellow by adding different colours if you wish. I'm just going to use yellow as it is, but I'm going to do it quite pale. So there's our shell. Can you see I'm barely touching that with colour? But that's enough to turn it into a lovely shell. So we're going to do all of these, and as you can see I'm doing them quite quickly. They don't take a lot of time. And I do get questions, how do we make a cream colour? Well I would actually just do what I'm doing now. Very pale yellow. And if you feel that the yellow is too bright, tone it down with a little bit of brown. But you can see you don't need much colour at all on those. There you go, last one. Now here, we've got the other shells. Now I'm going to spray those maybe a little bit darker. But a little bit more shaded in certain areas, so just on the ends there. There we are. So that's all the shells done. Now for the larger one, again, what we're going to do is highlight certain areas. So just in the middle here, I'm going to make that a little bit darker. And then I want these legs to be quite light. But because it's a 3D shape that we're doing, can you see how I'm moving around so I don't leave any white bits? Make sure it's all covered. So I'm constantly turning. And it looks like I haven't sprayed that. But when I put it against the white, you can see that there's some colour on there. And again, maybe just dot of these. And a gentle shading all over. 